Hello everyone and welcome to our carrier group. I think. I, I don't really know anything about uh, Navy terms, but... But we have an aircraft carrier. And we're going on some adventures. I'm gonna do my best not to overcomplicate things at the beginning, but let's just say I've played a decent bit of this game, and I think it's set to make up for some pretty fun storytelling. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be playing it on hard. I've only ever played it on normal. I made it like four missions in just to get comfortable with it. But stick around because I think you'll like it. It's pretty cool. Alright, since you guys probably just want to get right into the action and see what this is going to be all about, uh, I'm not going to dawdle too much. I'm just going to give you a quick overview. We have our escorts, which we can change. We can buy new ones. We can unlock new ones eventually. We can upgrade how many escorts we have. We're sticking with this for now because that's what we got. We got materials for. We're got the cash the green cash our command points that's all we got we got, we got command points command points are the cash <laughs> uh that's what we got our carrier we did a couple upgrades we upgraded the radar range and the aa stations and the goal here is to get the yorktown as soon as possible we have to upgrade all this stuff we added one more crew we added one more officer and each officer gives you things cards i'll explain that later don't want to overcomplicate things let's just say this is what I did. And now, we're off. Wake Island has just been attacked by the Japanese Navy Admiral. There is a White House official on the island visiting our base there. We cannot get to him while the island is under fire, so we need to find the exact location of the enemy carrier attacking the base and destroy it. Once that has been dealt with, we will have a short space of time within which to carry out the rescue. You must launch a rescue mission to the base where our men will take the VIP on board for a safe return to our carrier. All right, and here we go. This is our carrier, the USS Saratoga. <laughs> I forgot to change the name of that. I meant to make it the USS Temporary so that we could come up with a name. But for this mission, it'll be the USS Saratoga. All right, so we're being scouted, so we're going to take care of the scouts real quick uh, with the little fighters, some fighters. we got some going out. We can do the counter scouts mission over here as soon as that's ready. So we're going to launch that right away, take care of the scouts, hopefully keep us invisible for the time being. And while we do that, I'm going to run you through a little bit of the menu, I guess. So we have a tactical map. Uh, this is our fleet. We can move our fleet wherever we want, Start relatively aliens. speaking. But we probably want to stay near near the little island because we got we got a mission there to get the um, the VIP later. Uh, it's the first mission, so it's pretty simple. This unknown object is the carrier group that we have to take out. Uh, so we have to take them out, and then we can rescue the VIP. We need to do it fast in order to get all the rewards for this mission because this mission like is is quick. The problem is that that, that might be hard on on hard mode, but but, but we'll see. Because we're going to have to launch like two attacks to kill him. I've done the mission before, so that's the only reason, only reason I'm so like on it. <laughs> uh, but this is hard versus normal, so I'm not sure. We'll see. We can watch them launch. It's pretty cool. So while they're doing that, we're going to prepare some dive bombers because we want to run the Identify Targets mission. Mostly because we need to know what's in that group and uh, what they're going to throw at us when we attack them. Or rather, what kind of... Well, you'll see. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So we're going to Identify Targets, we're going to launch it at them, and then we're going to re recover like here. That should be fine. And we're going to launch it. Start engine. Alright, so that's going out. We're going to speed up the boat a bit. There you go. Go to full. We could even go to half. We don't really need to, though. Um, as far as our crew, having crew is important because they're the ones that control your uh, all the departments. Each department, the more people you have in it, the more functionality that department has. So, like, in order to have full use of your deck, you need to have a full air department. So the amount of squadrons that you can have on top depends on how many people, how much, how much crews uh, manning it. And for speed, for example, like since there's only one dude in here, we can only go slow at the best. It's like we can't go to half right now. So we need more crew in there. So that's kind of like the basic idea of the crew system. The scouts have been destroyed. 
So now we have to switch the deck. This switches the state of the deck. We have to switch it to recovery, and we have to recover our uh, our fighters. Stand by to recover aircraft. If you don't recover them in the time uh, and the time runs out, you lose your uh, you lose your squadrons. So you want to try not to do that. So there's a lot of a lot of managing like back and forth. Clear the flight deck and prepare for takeoff. Okay, so we identified the targets. So now we can consider doing an airstrike. We're gonna actually relaunch these yeah, fighters and do a uh, do a cap to protect our uh, fleet because we'll probably get attacked at some point soon. And when we're on this map, if they're ongoing missions, you can actually see like what state they're in, like see like the identified targets. They're still they're still all the way out there, but we'll be we'll be able to pick them up pretty easily. All right, the cap's going out, so we're gonna we're gonna plan our airstrike. Uh, oh, we have to activate it first. All right, so this is a simple rundown, I guess. This is the island. This is basically the control room. And each room can be swapped to do different things. So, like, right now, we need we need some airstrikes. Ready, so we're, we're going to send... We're going to... Uh, those officers are very loud. Uh, so we're going to send them into the... Up here, and we're going to switch from having two recon missions, which we have down here, to airstrike missions. And each room has different stuff. So there, there's, there's a bit of fiddling that you have to do sometimes. All right, but now we can plan our airstrike. This is probably gonna take two tries because they have a lot of defense. All right, so once you're in the airstrike menu, the different ships have different modifiers as you can see underneath. So like disables attack of all supported maneuvers. This is bad. Attack of maneuver number five, negative 25%. And then we have offensive, defensive, and supportive maneuvers. And each one has different modifiers on it also. So you kind of are like building a hand to like get your numbers working against what they got going on. So I'm going to take a minute, figure it out, and then uh, we'll see. All right, so this is what I've set up. It's going to take six squadrons. Each card has a different requirement of uh, of what it needs, what type of squadron, but also the number. I try not to use the ones I use too, but this is this is the max we can actually use for the carrier, six. So if you try and do more than that, like this one requires two. See, we can't. We can't, we can't deploy that many on this flight deck. We'd need the bigger carrier. At the bottom, it tells you uh, whether or not you'll be safe for the most part. So you, you really you really you really want to pay attention to, to down here. So we're, we're doing that, and also it tells us what our attack's gonna do. And right now we don't have enough attack, mostly because of this light cruiser, to really do anything. So if we focused on the carrier, uh, it would only damage it like halfway. It wouldn't destroy it. But if we focused on the light cruiser right now, we'll not only take out the light cruiser, but we might even take out the destroyer, which would be great. But either way, we got to take this guy out in order to be successful next time, because otherwise he's gonna the disabling attack is bad. So we're going to confirm that. We're going to recover there. That should be good. And now, now we have to bring up all the planes, which is a lot. One fighter, two dive bombers, and three torpedo bombers. Part of the reason why I want to upgrade the, the carrier as fast as possible is because the next carrier has three elevators. By the way, you can also, you can look, you can also look at the, the inside of the carrier. And there's like rooms and stuff, and each room's... I don't know. It's mostly useless except for when things are on fire. <laughs> on fire or flooding. That's what this area is for. But it's cool because you can see the planes going up in the elevator. On the deck. And I mean... Who doesn't like that? That's just cool. <laughs> Either way, so basically we want the next carrier as fast as possible because we need more elevators. The other one has three, this one only has one, and you can imagine how long it takes every single time planes got to come up or down. It's just, it's painful. <laughs> Issue a torpedo bomber squad so, on the deck. we're just waiting for this, and then we're going to launch them right away. All right, we're well, all set up. Now we can launch the airstrike. Launch and we can, uh, we can watch it from a cool point of view, too. <laughs> this is, this mission, this mission's basically like a, we, we can call this like the intro mission. Because really, you're really only taking out, like, one other group, and you're rescuing the VIP, and then the, you're more or less over. Although we are being attacked by a sub right now. But it gives you a good understanding what what this is going to be like. It gets pretty crazy later when there's like multiple groups and you have to defend other, you know, other allied forces and everything. It's pretty it's pretty neat.
All right, there's the last plane. We have to switch our deck into recovery now, and we have to recover this Stand dive bomber because the timer is almost out. We only had 30 minutes left. It's pretty bad. We generally don't want to lose them. <laughs> then we got to switch over to launching state, and we got to take that sub out. We need one more dive bomber after these guys. All right. Here comes another dive bomber. We should be able to take the sub out. No problem. Okay, now we got scouts. <laughs> Alright, we gotta take those out too. Uh, okay. Stand by to start engine. Ooh, we managed to take out two. Nice. And every time uh every time this happens, you can watch a little movie. Oh, a big miss at the end there, huh? <laughs> How are these scouts doing? Hmm. They're scouting. They're scouting. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have time to take them out. Our, uh, we got an hour before our airstrike is back. All right, let's see if we can manage to get these planes up and off. We might have to just leave the scouts because we got to relaunch that strike as soon as possible. We want to make it within the timeline. It won't be the end of the world if we don't, but it's, you know, it's the first mission. You gotta, you gotta at least get that one right. <laughs> the rewards carry over from each, uh, like, mission to mission. So it's it's a long, like, enduring thing, you know? All right. Launching the counter scouts. And then we're going to have 50 minutes more before the airstrike is back. So we're going to swap to recovery right after. All right, good. We got the sub. Now we got to recover those dive bombers. I'm going to recover them into the Sir, hangar. A member of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Have All a right. DC team transport him to the infirmary. Somebody's injured, so we got to just we swap one of the DC teams to to healing or to recovery whatever and we transfer that guy to medical. And they'll uh they'll carry him over. Once he's healed, we can put him back. All right, so we're recovering the dive bombers from the counterings to the submarine. And then we got to recover the airstrike. We got the counter scouts coming in also. Oh, this is going to get busy. It's going to get busy. I don't know. I guess uh, let's see how long, how much of a timer they have. Nice. All right, yeah. See, they only have an hour. So we want to get them into the hangar Stand right away. To recover aircraft. Were we just detectives out that said? Yeah, they detected us. I think it's because we're so close to them. So you can do... Yeah, see, we're within their range. Possibly we should get out of their range. That might be smart. <laughs> we don't have... Yeah, we don't have anyone coming back, so that's fine. All right, now we can recover our airstrike and send it back out. We still got time before nighttime. Well, if we hit nighttime, I think it's 2200 hours is when night officially happens. We won't be able to la launch the last uh, mission. Which basically like completes this uh, this whole this whole thing right now. So we want to try and get that done. Are those still the counter scouts? Oh, those are still the counter scouts. All right, now we just gotta wait for the entire uh, <laughs> entire airstrike team. It's gonna be a while. This is why I try not to launch six uh, six groups if I can help it. All right, recovery is basically complete. Uh, our cap is over. So. Do we, we have eight hours to recover the cap. Okay, we are not going to bother doing that right now. <laughs> we are going to launch this attack again. Because we're running out of time. I'm not sure we're going to make it in time. Not making it isn't the end of the world, but you do get more stars and more like bonuses that you can dish out, which will help you in the long run. You know, it's like dominoes. You want to you get it going. All right, we're going to prep an airstrike. I'm going to hit him with it. We really only got to take out the carrier, so there shouldn't be even that hard. All right, it's a little bit overkill, but we're going with this mission because because uh, <laughs> it requires the planes that are already out. So that's what we're going with. And we're launching the airstrike. After, after the airstrike, we go straight into recovery to cover our, uh, our cap.
And it looks like we pulled away far enough that the enemy doesn't know we're here anymore. So they they have to send a scouting mission, I believe, first before they can even attack us, which is which is good. Saves us time. Alright, so this is actually pretty bad. Our escort is under attack instead of us. And we don't actually have a lot of defense going. I think because we're... Okay, yeah, we didn't send this guy back to the, to the anti-aircraft department. So that's going to help once he gets there. Also, our escort can launch a cap on its own. So once, once the planes get a little bit closer, we're going to launch a cap. Yeah, we're just going to have to send a few caps out. I think that's the only way to do it. Seven's a lot. I guess that's, that's where, that's where hard mode is happening. That's, that's a really high number of attack. Cause you really, it's, it's a defense versus their attack. So ours is three and our, uh, our escorts is three also. Once we get the caps out, they'll have some more. We just need to get it to seven and we'll be okay. We don't want them sinking the, the escort ships because they're expensive to, to get new ones. Sir, the new objective is okay. Escort carriers down. So we're actually going to ignore everything right now, and we got to get the VIP mission done. <laughs> Forget the carriers. What happened? Ooh, crash on the deck. On quick, quick, quick. We don't have time for this. Oh, that's bad. I do like the way that uh, this gets repaired, by the way. They're going to come up, and they're just going to chuck it off. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm sure that's exactly what happens normally, but it's funny. All right, can we switch to launching now? Let's go. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> swerve, swerve. <laughs> we got things to do. We got two hours to launch this mission. We need one of each. Go, dive bombers, torpedo bombers. Let's go, let's go. All right, we just got the, we got to get this done. We got to get it done and then we're good. We're golden. VIP mission goes there, comes back. Pretty simple and easy and we can launch. Yes, we did it. We did it. All right, now, as soon as this launches, we got to make sure not to lose our, uh... Here, we'll launch a cap. That should get their defense up. And if we launch a cap after this mission also, we should be fine. Here's two more fighter groups. Squadrons. I'm I'm not going to be able to keep these, uh... The call-outs of things proper. <laughs> oh, this is bad. They're really close. Uh, we either got to get the VIP or, uh... And get these fighters up. This is why we need the other, the more, the extra elevators. And this is, this is, ba this is a, even though this is on hard, this is still a fairly easy mission. So, I really don't want to be losing things right now. Alright, there we go. Where's the cap? Where's the cap? Launch. 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 <laughs> oh, no. We didn't make it in time. Crap. No, we lost an escort ship. Aw, oh, man, it was the good one, too. Crap. That's gonna cost us. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay. I don't know. Man, that sucks. Oh, I forgot I could have done the defensive mission thing. Defensive position? Ah, uh, they, they still would have sunk. Wouldn't have been enough. Man, that sucks. Are they gone from the- Ooh, yeah, they're burning. <laughs> You're burning. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's... That's not great. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's not great. Man, I can't believe they took him out. Uh, I guess we should recover some planes. Well, that was too bad about the escort. They're not super expensive, but they're... You know... It's all... It's all things. <laughs> I was really weak. I mostly did it because you get, you get medals at the end. I'll show you once the mission's over. You get metal so you can upgrade stuff, and if you made it under under 24 hours or something, then, uh, or whatever, then you get one more metal, so we could have upgraded one more thing. So actually, you know what, that's fine. I'll take that trade off. Now we just gotta recover the VIP. I guess we should have just done that first. So I'm not sure what the timer is, because, uh, this airstrike is gonna take a while to, uh, to recover. Whatever. We are where we are. If I don't get that bonus from the timer, I'm gonna be real mad. I like how the, sh the ship is still blowing up in the background. <laughs> Stand by to recover our craft. All right, they're coming in. They're coming in. We got the VIP. I think we made it in time. There is a fire below deck. Sir, damage control is needed. 
Things are always lighting on fire in this ship. I don't know if carriers were like that always, but we, we weren't even hit by any. Is that in the... Where is that? In the aircraft workshop. Well, tool safety, man. Tool safety is important. I don't know what these people are doing. <laughs> you covered the thing yet? Let's go. Let's go. Clocks are ticking. This game looks really dingy most of the time, but right now it looks real pretty. <laughs> in certain lighting conditions. That's my only criticism. There could be a little more sunshine and just lighting in general, rather than everything looking gray 90% of the time. Is that the last one? I don't know if those were the last planes. Yes! Did we get the time? Oh no, we didn't. Oh, we did! We did 18 hours. Woo! Got the cross. Yes! Awesome. Alright, so we got them all. We got all four. Very, very good. Uh, so, we... I, as me, have uh, my own maneuver. It's this one. So that just got upgraded from 125 to 150, which is nice. We can, the music is really loud right now. We can award uh, medals, promotions, whatever, whatever, award medals. And uh, that's actually how each officer gets a card attached to them that you, we can use uh, during the attack. So the only way to unlock them is to give them a medal. So I guess we're gonna do that. We're gonna give them each one. That's nice. That's nice. Now imagine if I give them more, it'll uh, upgrade the card. But we'll see how much we use them. And then you can upgrade your crew. Basically, you get to pick one of a thing that they do, and that improves. The first two are always specific to like rooms or something else, and the last one's always generalist. Generalist just gives seven percent no matter what, whereas the other two are room specific, but they give more. So we're gonna go. These guys, he's got a wrench in his hand, so we're gonna go damage control. Although we don't always need. Now we're going navigation. We'll do navigation, and that'll just be the one. And then we'll promote them to anti-aircraft for sure. Okay, cool. Nice. That was pretty smooth, relatively speaking. <laughs> and we're back. We're back to, to, to the dock. To the dock. So we have th six upgrade points and we have 11 command points. Or otherwise known as cash money. Our escorts from last time, from the last mission, two of them, these, these are the two that made it back. Uh, <laughs> they, they're in repairs, so we only have these other three. We could buy, we could buy replacements, but they're, they're expensive as you can see. The one that we lost is eight command points and we only have 11 right now. So, uh, that was a big loss. <laughs> that was a, that was a big, big, big woof. The biggest thing we could do right now is use our upgrade points and throw it towards something. I'm going to put, uh, anti-air stations cause that is incredibly useful. And then we got to save the next two. Cause again, we want to get to the Yorktown as soon as possible. We just got to do all the upgrade things. Three plane elevators. Oh, that's what I want. I want it so bad. <laughs> it also helps because there's an extra deck slot. So you could launch uh, bigger missions. See, and even like the SX is, is, I mean, it's cool, but it really doesn't add that much. The difference between one and two is huge because of the elevators. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to save the points. I want to, I want to get, I want to get the Yorktown as soon as possible. And I don't want to waste any. So that's carrier command. What do you guys think? Do we like it? Was that entertaining? I know that mission was a little... You know, a little basic, but they get crazier, more fun. <laughs> so uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I could do better. And if I, uh, if I should do more, I, I think I might anyway, but let me know if I should. <laughs> Either way, I love you guys. Hi, Moro. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you guys next time.